G'day, my name is Jason Harris, Managing Director and Auctioneer for Scammel Auctions, and welcome to What's at Scammels this week, and we're relaunching it. A uh, new series, this is uh, 2015. See us every week. Uh, don't forget to go to www.scammelauctions.com.au. Let's go. Let's kick it straight off now, the Huon Pine chest of eight drawers. A little bit rough around the corners here, but you don't see these very often anymore. Lovely full column, uh, full columns on these ones. Uh, needs to be a little bit... Uh, gently restored what it is at the moment, but a good honest chest of drawers. Come this way, we've got lots to see this week. There's probably around about 1,200, maybe 1,100 bots in total this week. Another chest of drawers, back-to-back -back chest of drawers this week, only at Scammels. This one's quite a nice one as well. This one goes straight home, nothing more to do. These are nice, these have really picked up in price over the last few years. A uh, lovely piece of deco, um, fake light, really nice piece, great condition as well, probably around about $60, $80 these days, nice piece. Uh, more teak, lots of teak, teak are still running hot. This is a lovely chair, this one. Uh, around about 1930s, 1940s. I love the style of the arm on this, fabulous. Um, re upholstered or leave it exactly the way it is. But nice, nice chair. Lights, lots of lights, bit of an empire style, very nice. Trunk, always good, little chest of drawers. Uh, these are lovely as well, fit them straight into the kids' room, if you've got kids, or grandma's room, mum's room. Um, nice, uh, Victorian Edwardian. Subtle differences, nice uh, turnings there, uh, more curved in shape, harder, nice lines. These are very definitive of the Edwardian style, uh, but good original piece. Has been restored, uh, so no more work to do. Upside down doll, not sure why. <laughs> Funny though, lovely. Desk, nicely at the top as well. Again, these have really picked up in price uh, compared to a few years ago. And uh, lovely two drawer one in cedar. Again, straight into the house, this one. Living with uh, antiques, anyone can do it. Mix your new, your new and your old together. Really nice amongst the white wall. Wardrobes, uh, not much more to say about those. Grandmother, grandfather chair, my favorite floral upholstery. Um, but they are good pieces, lovely carvings in the back. Lots of sea Adrian, good uh, big uh, dining table there. Okay, this one is not bad at all. Wardrobe. What makes this one quite special, I'm not sure if you can get it on camera, there's a lead light panel in here. This is really, really nice. I know a lot of people go to built-ins, but if you've got more of a, a, um, an earlier style of home, Tudor, that type of thing, wardrobe still work, uh, especially when you've got high ceilings. It's a bit hard to fill in the high ceilings with a built-in robe. This is where these wardrobes really come in handy. Walk this way, Adrian, we've got lots to see this week. This one's quite nice as well. Um, probably a little bit hard to see, let's just move it around, there we go, look at that, and take the moving 101. What I like about this one is the shape of the back. Uh, this is very much a sort of a, a 1830s, 1850s William IV style type of thing. This is really nice with a, a peaked back, uh, lovely shield doors, uh, probably around about 1860s all, all together. Uh, but this is really nice, quite a, a nice, um, quite a nice feature on this one. Over this way. French style chairs, dressing mirrors. Again, these are reasonably rare. Uh, this one's a lovely full size mirror. Um, we haven't put it together yet, so this will hook straight onto here, screws in on the uh, brass lugs. Lovely piece, again, with the Victorian styling on the front there. Um, again, how much would this be worth? Probably these days around $400 or thereabouts. Not a lot of money, really, for this type of thing. Over we go. Oh, a half test of there. Haven't seen these very often at all. Cast iron, brass, half tester, would have been a canopy going over the top here. Lovely piece as well. Uh, this is a double, uh, so please be aware of that. It is a double, not a queen. Um, but get close to your partner. Over this way, lovely carving screen. Oh, this one's really nice action. Over here, jacket beam. Dining suite. Lovely six chairs, two carvers. Fabulous barley twist. This is uh, very representative of the Jacobean style or Jacobean revival, as we heard today. Lovely cardboard. Get an, uh, a bit of an idea of the definition on this. The carving on the sideboard there, really nice pie crust uh, on the base there. Lovely big pie crust. Even the feet. Um, we've got two columns down below. This one here, these days, look, four to six hundred dollars. This is as cheap as it's really going to get. Lovely, honest piece. Probably a little bit dark for some uh, people's taste, but a really, really nice piece. Over this way, 
Here you go. Retro. Lovely. Forget the rug on the back here. This is as partridge family as you can get. Brady Bunch partridge family. Move this off. Lovely uh, surfboard back on these ones. The last one we uh, sold around about five or six hundred dollars or thereabouts. This is really good. Needs a bit of a touch up on there um, on the arms, but lovely floral, bright orange. You get lovely retro. This is the piece to have. Cheers. Went into the office this morning. Fabulous chairs. Lovely. Got reminded these are actually reproductions. So how do we tell the reproductions? So on the back here, you'll see Allen keys or Allen key screws. So when these were made in the 60s, originally, not many Allen key screws going around or star screws like this. Um, look out for these. I got uh, caught very, very briefly this morning. I will admit that. We're not perfect everything we do. Uh, but these are great chairs. Uh, into the office, into the uh, lounge room, dining room. Dining, talk of dining rooms, dining suite. Talk about Falcon chair in the dining suite. These are absolutely fantastic. Look at the style on that. Lovely bentwood. Original upholstery, great, and it's even got a smoky glass top, and so you can see what your neighbours are doing underneath the table, playing footsies or whatever it might be. But this is a lovely piece. Again, a little bit different, probably a decade difference in age, um, but they would match. So you can actually put these together into a room. Lovely big white wall, nice deep sideboard at the back, and the map of the world. There it is, up. Or there, actually, the map of the world, map of Europe, early days. Greece is still on there. So let's move over this way. Make sure that doesn't fall. Quickly cut this way before it falls. Trees, still get lots of trees in. Lovely big Aspidistra. I think everything's an Aspidistra. I really don't know what they call this one. But Simon, what do they call this? What type of tree? That's a ficus. A ficus. There we are. Lovely big no, ficus. A Thank you, Simon. It's a bay laurel. It's a bay laurel. He doesn't know either. It's anyway, a bay laurel. Lots of these come in. Uh, we've got a one supplier who does a lot of topiaries. Um, so if you're after topiaries, whether they're pencil pines or a Laurel Bay Aspidistra, come to Scammels uh, each week we've got them coming in. This is really nice too, restored fridge. Talk about man cave stuff. There you go. All this lovely, uh, this um, fabulous uh, fridge has been restored. Not sure if it's working, we haven't uh, done, unfortunately had time to plug it in, but it has been resprayed. And this is a great man cave uh, piece. Okay, over we go this way. Uh, tool section, lots of uh, copper, uh, lots of um, interesting bits and pieces, old milk cans, bird cage, tricycle, really nice. Uh, old tool section, map drawers, again, don't come in that often. Uh, these get uh, three to five hundred dollars. Old TVs, used to throw these out, but red uh, case for some reason goes really well. Over we go, we've got in the background, we've got our uh, four um, coming up the 18th of July, we'll talk about that one later. Tools, fabulous, look at these. Out of a workshop, as, uh, as we understand it, it's from a uh, saw sharpener. Um, so this is an unusual find, we don't get these type of collections often. So you've got uh, one lot over there, two lots, uh, second lot here. Everything you need to sharpen tools. So if you're setting up a shed, even if it's just for display, Here's a collection that um, you really can't surpass. Fabulous condition, uh, been well looked after. Original trunks, original tools. These are great. Have no idea what they do, other they look like hammers. Uh, but a hammer for everything. Little uh, measure gauges, the whole lot. Fabulous lot. Let's go over this way, Adrian. Let's see what else we've got over here. Have a look at that floor polisher. There we are. Set up your own business. Come straight to Scammell, spend $15, uh, use the $20,000 investment grant by the government, invest $15, instant business this one. Okay, over here, lots of nice stuff. Kitchen cabinets. Uh, these come straight out of the shed, but uh, lots of kitchen cabinets here. Um, we've got uh, standard lamps, new and old. Um, over this side, we're setting up the, the rest of our, um, our furniture section. These jukeboxes coming up on 18th of July, really good ones, the Jupiter ones, great. Don't see these in very often at all. Fabulous, 18th of July these comes up. Have a look at the uh, bikes as well, Adrian. The bikes are really, really good. These are coming up this week. Um, great vintage clickers bike. The Pascos, I love the detail of the Pasco and the Hilson, really good. Okay, that is it from the furniture section. Let's go to the smalls with Adrian. 
Okay, well, welcome to the gallery, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Adrian Cummings. Uh, I'm auction manager here at Scammels. Uh, we're going to have a bit of a look through here, uh, through the gallery area. There's all sorts of china, glassware, uh, and collectibles coming up for a Monday sale. So we'll have a good look through. Um, we've got all sorts of uh, everything this week. So what we'll do, Jason, is we'll start over here. Uh, we, we have coins and banknotes. Uh, now, those of you uh, who collect coins and banknotes, there's a, a, a huge range here. Uh, all sorts of uh, items through, from one pound through to uh, 10 shillings. Uh, Commonwealth of Australia, I know that after the vendor told me they're COAs, Commonwealth of Australia. So there we go, a good mixture of all sorts in here. Uh, we'll head to the China section, Jason, and the, uh, the cabinet at the back here. We've got a bit of Australiana this week. Um, so we do have some lovely poker work. We're still filling the shelves at the moment as we speak. Uh, so here we go, we've got some lovely poker work. Uh, quite desirable, the poker work these days, actually. Uh, so a good little mixture of uh, all sorts. We've gone sort of the French poker work look. <laughs> so Australian and French, uh, with the Limoges, the poker work, and the lovely pop there as well. Uh, Wedgwood's always a good seller. People love the Jasper wear. That's a bit of a seller these days. So you get all sorts of Jasper wear. We see thousands of pieces a year, uh, and it is a good quality uh, porcelain as well. Uh, so well worth a browse. Uh, Castle Harris Bowl. Now here we go, good piece of Australian pottery here. We'll just slide this cabinet over here, Jason. Okay, here we go here. There's a piece of Castle Harris. Now that has the uh, the fish decoration. Uh, so a lovely piece of Castle Harris. Uh, probably dates from the sort of 1930s or 40s. Uh, lovely piece there, signed to the base as well. Very well signed Castle Harris. Uh, and that one there, that's, that we'd be looking between sort of four and five hundred dollars at auction for that piece. Lovely piece. Alrighty, so I'll just pop that back nice and gently so we don't damage that one. Head this way, Jason. We've got the uh, the green glass, always a hot seller in this cabinet here. The depression glass always sells quite well. Uh, we have a lovely little dressing table set there this week uh, and can do quite well at auction. Uh, we'd be thinking between sort of $80 and $120 for the glassware, quite sought after these days. Uh, mixture of all sorts in this cabinet. We are still loading up the cabinets at the moment. Uh, Spo Blue Room, always popular. Sells very well at auction, uh, so a good mixture there. Uh, now those of you who need a lovely clock, <laughs> so there's a huge lovely clock here. Look at him, look at the muscles on him. That's uh, modelled after me, uh, yep, absolutely. Lovely piece there, uh, and great for the mantle. So a mixture of all sorts this week, very eclectic mix. Uh, sailing to the sunset with this lovely ship. There we go, look at that one. Straight to the man cave with this one, uh, all on the desk. Or you can become a drummer, straight to run them all with this lot. If you're any good at drumming, you'll make your money back in minutes. Easy as that. So a good mixture of all sorts. Crown Ducal dinner set, hot property again, always sells quite well. Uh, that size setting there, the Florentine, uh, that should bring around a couple of hundred dollars or so. Uh, bake light radios and deco lady lamps, always a good seller. Uh, so again, you know, it's amazing what we do find at Scammels, unpacking boxes of fantastic bits and pieces. The lovely deco lady lamps, radios coming out of boxes, you never know what we'll find here. Uh, we're going to head over to the collectibles cabinet, uh, which is the uh, over this side here, Jason. We'll have a look through here as we go. Guitars, glassware, canisters, we've got dolls. Uh, you name it, we've probably got it here. World Globe, oh here we go, what a beauty. Let's just try that. Oh, a little bit small, but seems to be okay. Uh, so there we go, top hats. We had some top hats last week as well. Uh, video game systems, video games, all sorts of things. Have a look in here, Jason. Here we go, let's slide that open. Uh, pot lids are quite good. These are always a good seller. So 19th century pot lids. Um, some of the Australian ones can be worth thousands. You'd be very surprised at what some of these could bring. Uh, how long's a piece of string? Well, we don't know what they'll bring on the day. Paperweight size. That's as big as my hand. I've got some big hands. That's a beauty. Almost like a magic ball. Almost like a magic ball, absolutely. You can see all sorts in there. Guinness teapot, there we go. That's a beauty. Great advertising piece now, it's still in working order. See, there we go, that works. Yeah, beautiful, there we go. All sorts of goodies. Cast iron money boxes. We've got little dolls here, these little Asian dolls. Again, always good little sellers, great decorative pieces. This is interesting. Let's have a look in this one here, Jason. Now those of you who like to do some stamping, this is full of stamps. So children's stamps, lovely vintage lot. You've got all sorts from racing cars through to cowboys, through to Indians, all sorts in there. Uh, well worth the browse. Always sell very well. So great little toy uh, collectible uh, and, and always sought after. Trench art. Now military, there's a lovely piece of trench art. Great decorative piece. Uh, made out of a shell, uh, so lovely piece there as well. All right, let's have a look through here. We've got more things, we've got toys, lots of toys, corgi toys. 
Uh, Dinky Toys, Matchbox, Lesney, all sorts in that lot there. Uh, one of these, racing helmet, BSA racing helmet. You know, great for the collector's auction if you do buy a motorbike, you can buy the helmet. Off we go. Blue Woodruff's uh, Soda Siphon. Now that one there, unfortunately, is cracked through the top. But again, to find a blue one, exceptionally hard these days as well. If your guitar's out of tune, we have new old stock corks as well. Uh, telephones here, that's a pyramid phone. Uh, but we do, we do have all sorts of goodies here coming up for scammels. Uh, so we'd love to see you here on uh, Monday morning. Uh, the auction starts at 9 o'clock in the morning. And uh, we, we'd love to see you here. So I do around about 150 lots an hour. Uh, come on down. Saturday morning is the inspection day. And also the great collector's auctions open on Saturday morning as well. Thank you.